1948 Democratic National Convention, Dixiecrats walk out over the civil rights plank, prompted by President Truman's actions originally, and Strom Thurmond runs as a presidential candidate on behalf of the Dixiecrats. In the words of John Paul Jones, we have just begun to fight. There are thousands of white people in attendance. The hall is decorated in red, white, and blue bunting. It is festooned with Confederate flags. People are holding aloft pictures of Robert E. Lee. There's no question as to sort of the animating spirit of this group, which is to return the South to the past, to maintain the racial status quo to maintain white supremacy. It is another effort on the part of the president to dominate the country by force and to put into effect these uncalled for and these damnable proposals he has recommended under the guise of so-called civil rights. And I tell you, the American people from one side or the other had, a, had better wake up and oppose such a program, and if they don't, the next thing will be a totalitarian state in these United States. The Dixiecrats, their goal is to be a spoiler, to deny either major party a majority of electoral college votes, thereby throwing the election into the House of Representatives where they can use their power to win concessions on civil rights. Truman didn't blink, and he didn't retreat. Nine days after the Dixiecrat revolt, he gave the state's writers a little primer in presidential power. Truman signed an executive order desegregating the federal workforce and, more shockingly, the entirety of the United States Armed Forces. <laughs> 